What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Yes guys, it's me, it's me, it's GLD, and I'm back after, what, a two week hiatus because of pneumonia and all that stuff. If you guys want to find out about the story of how I got pneumonia, go to the last episode. I spent, what, three minutes of me blabbing about how I got pneumonia and all that stuff. But anywho, here we are in Celestic Town, and uh, yeah, we've been through a lot. We healed up our Pokemon, we made Pokemon stronger. We found out that I didn't train hard enough, and uh, let's see. This guy right here gives us a Great Ball, which is also good, because uh, why not? You know, who, who doesn't love free shit? Anywho, we're here in Celestic Town. It's a very mystical place, and we need to find some old lady. And uh, would you look at that? There she is, talking about an old spaceman and Pokemon and blowing up some shows, some stuff and, you know, that kind of stuff. And, hey, look at that, Dragon Fang, something that we needed in our last episode. Huh, okay, so I am going to be using that because uh, my homie here, uh, Toothless, needs it. Okay, alrighty. Anywho, as you can see, weird spaceman and... You know, he's talking about a galactic bomb. And uh, we're going to be opposing him right here. So we're going to stop him from blowing up any more stuff instead of the toilet like I did a few weeks back. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just des destroy his team. I'm furious. I'm angry. And Toothless is too. So here we go. Rock Tomb for the win. Nope. Houndour is a little faster than me. A little angry about that. And so here we go. Rock Tomb. Yeah, buddy. Eat it. Just, oh, wow. It loses the speed, but, you know, it will eat it. Really? Litter Sleuth? Okay, so here we go. A slash attack right here. And, uh, look at that. Mm hmm. Defeated you. Anywho, he's going to be coming out with a gold bat, so I'm going to be switching it up right here. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try out my Gaia number two, because, yes, in the last episode, we evolved. Good old Curlia into Gaia number two. I'm just playing. Into Gallade. A very, very uh, cool Pokemon. And I'm going to be using Psycho Cut because assholes like you. Yes, I'm talking about you, Golbat. Like to use uh, high critical moves. Hey, you were. Hey. Oh, so. Yeah, okay, so he wasn't kidding. Yeah, that, that move is pretty strong. Okay, alrighty. So, defeated him in one hit, finally, after a long time. And uh, this guy's talking about, you know, handling stuff and whatnot. And after defeating that Team Galactic Grunt, we're talking to the old lady right here, and oh, she notices the old charm, and yes, that is uh, our girlfriend Cynthia's grandma right there, and uh, well, she's talking about the mythical Pokemon that surrounds Sinnoh and all that stuff. Now, this is where the the real stuff comes, like, start. you're starting getting more info on the, uh, the Celestic Pokemon, uh, the three emotion Pokemon, such as Uxie, uh, Axel and whatever, and um, you read the hieroglyphics, or hieroglyphics, and then you talk to Grandma right here, and she's talking about the the their existed beings of emotion and all that stuff. Of course, I am paraphrasing, and if you guys can read the the, the, the stuff right there, yes, they're talking about the legendary Pokemon. But somebody interrupts our our little conversation right here, and it's this guy right here, Cyrus. And, uh, well, he's talking about the Pokemon. He wants to create a world in his own image. And, uh, well, we got to stop him. We has got to stop him, guys. So that's exactly what we're going to do right here. This guy's talking about many of the legends and, uh, you know, his view views on the world. In my opinion, this guy right here happens to be one of the coldest uh, team or criminal criminal guys out there I don't know why but he just to me he just seems like a real dick real real dick of narcissistic kind of guy and of course he challenges us to a Pokemon battle right here so here we go we're going up against galactic boss Cyrus and he's gonna be coming out with a Sneasel right here oh yeah let's go so uh, yeah I'm gonna switch up my Pokemon don't want that happening and uh, let's see Ice Punch would have defeated my uh, would have defeated my Toothless, but no, just less damage to my hero right here. So here we go, Fire Fang, and uh, wow, this Pokemon is fast, and already I'm getting my butt kicked. So here we go, Fire Fang for the win, and uh, it wasn't for the win, but it 
even playing field. But this guy right here is well equipped as well, just like I tell everybody. Be well equipped. He has to. And uh, there we go. Fire Fang takes him back down to where we were. And uh, quick attack. What can you do? Damn it. Okay, so that's a. Uh, that is not good for us right there. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon and go with Starblade. Not switch out, but you guys know what I mean. And uh, here we go. Ice Punch. Good God. Yeah, I have to train my Pokemon. And look at that. I got frozen. What kind of BS is that? Uh, why? <laughs> Oh man, I am uh okay, so um yeah. One thing that I need to do and I am noting right now is that I have to train my Pokemon. I seriously have to train my Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and just take these hit and uh go with the Dragon Rage. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Just beat you. I, I beat you pretty good, pretty good. And uh well let's see. It's gonna come out with a gold bat, so I'm gonna just gonna. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go with guy number two right here. Hopefully, that will actually help us in in, in some capacity right here. But as you can see, guys, I've <laughs> been so sick that I completely forgot about training my Pokemon. And uh, well, there's that air cutter, and uh, completely forgot that. Yeah, we're more vulnerable to to uh, flying type attacks now. Jesus, man, what the heck? Very sloppy work, Draven. Very sloppy work. And uh, there's that air cutter again. And uh, nearly makes us faint. So here we go. Psychic attack. Oh, yeah. Doesn't make him faint. Good God. Okay. We can do this. Two can play up this game right now. All right. Here we go. Do that. And uh, that's right. That is right. I am healing my Pokemon. What are you going to do? Nothing, absolutely nothing, and uh, there's that air cutter that we just don't like. Okay, oh god, oh Jeebus, come on, come on, sweet baby Arceus, do not make us faint. And uh, <laughs> okay, oh man, I, I <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can hear you guys right now, I really can, and uh, <laughs> I'm beating myself up right now. And look at that guy, number 32, uh, yeah, th level 32, holy crud. And he's coming. To, he's gonna come out with a Murkrow. So I'm gonna go with Hydra. Let's do this. Alrighty. The vengeance right here. With the vengeance. So he's coming out with a Murkrow, and he's like, "You forced my hand this time." Well, you forced my hand, motherfucker. You forced my hand. Alrighty. There we go. And that is how you do it right there. Getting us, getting our butts kicked right now. And uh, there we go. Thunder attack. Fourth. No, no win. And, but you're paralyzed. That's right. You're paralyzed, a hole. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck? What the hell happened? Okay, Citrus Berry. So, yeah, this guy is one of those guys that, you know, can. Uh, they equips his Pokemon very, very well. And look at that. Defeat this guy. And, uh, hell yeah. Defeated this guy. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So we won, and he's like, remarkable, the attitude is all I needed to know. Making a bridge of space and time and all that stuff, it's made it clear for him. Now, he's just spouting out nonsense, like like Randy said right here, and uh, he wanted to change the world, and, uh, well, after that battle, she gives us the HMO3, which is Surf. Very, very good move, very beneficial move for us. Oh my god, I am so glad that I have it. Oh my god. Okay, so that's enough of that. And, uh, well, time to move on right here. Now, I know that there's Pokemon trainers to the east, and hello there. Oh, is everything alright? I saw people with Galactic Bomb. That's right, they were harmless. Bizarre way they dress and claim and all that stuff. Silly talk and seriousness and stuff. I'm paraphrasing, guys. Yes, they want to monopolize everything. And, um, well, the next thing is the Candlelave City and, uh, that's where we have to go. She's actually instructing us to go to Candlelave City, which, of course, is the next place we need to go to get our next badge. And, uh, well, this guy, this, oh, wow, the, the hieroglyphics right here are showing the two legendary Pokemon that 
were part of the creation of the world, I believe. Huh, that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so let's see, we're in Celastic Town. I'm just gonna take a small tour. And like I said before, guys, there are Pokemon trainers to the east, and I'm not going to be battling them in here because I just got my ass kicked right now. And uh, this guy right here gives us the analog watch, and I believe it's just a watch. It's just a freaking watch, guys. Let me show you. Where is it? Alright, there it is. See? It's just a watch. Or is it that one? It's one of those two, guys. Yeah, we got a lot of apps, and, uh, <laughs> okay. The only, I think the only one that really benefits us is that dowsing machine one. And, uh, let's see, let's see. I think there's, okay, so this lady says that there's no Pokemart here, but this house actually sells some items. And, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what they sell. Ah, huh. same stuff as a Pokemart would. And, uh... See, what does this guy sell? Oh, he sells Pokeballs and one airmail. So that's that's good. Very, very good. They must be making a killing right now. And, uh, well, let's see. Who is next right here? Let's go ahead and talk to this person right here. And, uh, let's see. Where are you from? Yes, I am from Twin Leaves Titty. Or, not Titty. <laughs> I said Titty. Um, Twin Leaf City. Oh, man. I need to lay off the hoot hoot. <laughs> Anywho. Homeboy here is talking to me about the spirits and uh, the three legendary Pokemon. I can't believe I said Titty. Did you hear? Did you guys hear that? That's hilarious. And uh, they're talking about the myths of Pokemon as well. And uh, let's see, it's an odd book. Started reading when the Pokemon were born, bloomed and everything. Emotions bloomed, joy, sorrow, and all that stuff. The willpower bloomed and all that stuff. Everything bloomed, guys. I cannot believe I said Titty. Holy crud. I am very, very sorry. Now you guys are gonna just make fun of me, which is fine. It's cool. Anywho, we're talking to these guys, and Homeboy here tells me that Mount Coronet is the closest thing to the sky, which is true. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it for Celestic Town. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, it will be another 30-minute long video. See you guys.